the invisible man by h g wells and today we are on chapter number 22 in the emporium if you remember in chapter number 21 in oxford street we had our protagonist the invisible man running away because he had suddenly and pretty quickly discovered the drawbacks of his invisibility and if you remember when the chapter had ended we found the invisible man pretty much much injured and pretty cold and he did not even have a place to go so what is this emporium now let us see so in chapter number 22 we have a list of characters dr kem and griffin and uh, uh, why do we have the same characters again because as i told you the story of the invisible man has been going on and he is just telling the whole tale from his own mouth uh, so this will go up till chapter number 23 and hence the same characters griffin who is telling his story and dr kemp who is the listener to the whole series of events in this chapter where we are talking of the emporium you will have to remember the name of the emporium but before that let us see uh, why this chapter is so important even though the events are not much see we find griffin in a bad state we cannot deny that he is not in a bad state see he is hurt he is injured he is also lonely because there are no family and friends where he could go and take shelter tell his problem find a solution there is just nobody nobody for him he is shelterless he is also hungry it is a really bad state he has no place to go and nobody who would listen whenever we are in a problem the first thing we need or something that gives us some solace is the fact that we can share our problems so this is the kind of new life that griffin has built for himself this is not the life that god gave him he he of course had a family he could have friends he had a profession uh, he was a part of the society but he never wanted that he was not attached to that and he wanted a different life so this is the new life the irony is this is the new life that griffin has given himself and so this chapter is very important uh because it opens up the subconscious of the character uh, of griffin and at the same time reveals the truth uh, the real real face of society so this chapter not only reveals the uh, the inner feelings of our character our main character griffin but also the real truth the real face of the society uh he is lonely and nobody stops to care he is in a modern city if you remember he is in london a place which is teeming with people there are so many people on the street that even if they push nothingness they don't even stop to see whom they have pushed 
this is the truth of the modern metros the the urban society that people are so busy they are rushing they don't stop it is teeming with people yet he has nobody and this person he has nobody to tell his problems right now he wants somebody and here i would just want you to go back and contrast the city life with the life of a village or a small town like iping what is the difference uh, people are together there there are still friendships there are still uh, celebrations and mornings together people have a community feeling the feeling of being together in a society there is love and there is interest in other people's problems they they love their neighbors they love their village people and that is why they share their problems the feeling of the sense of sharing is too much this has to be contrasted with the busy and yet lonely life of the city uh, so griffin in the city wanted somebody and when he came to the town he did not like the interference so what an irony see what is the irony of the whole thing that here the person is lonely and he wants somebody and here when he comes to the village people try to ask him people try to know him and he just drives people away so uh, griffin that is why in the beginning and again when we do the character sketch of griffin we would want to ask this big question is he really the villain or is society the real villain is society the real negativity who has created this man uh, the abnormal man the criminal from a genius student and that is why this chapter is very important it deals with the subconscious of our character uh, and let us see how this goes on because there is an important sequence coming up so first of all let us talk of the emporium uh, after running away from oxford street griffin goes uh, he finds a place called omnium omnium is a large emporium with a number of departments under one roof you can maybe in today's parlance you can say that it was like a mall with a number of departments dealing with different stuff uh, under one room uh, roof so it was a big big emporium that he found and here he his plan was to get hold of clothing money so that he could go and get his books and then find a place to stay and rest and plan his future he still has uh, maybe he still has some hopes that this invisibility will give him something that is why he says i wish to find a place and uh, uh, think of and plan my future what i could do with this invisibility so he goes and he enters uh, this uh, emporium of course he is invisible and he just hides quietly uh, until the place is closed and after closing time he gathers 
warm clothes he eats food that he can find and he also finds false noses over there but he says i couldn't find any spectacles and i also thought of wigs so he found some things from here and he thought of going after the place opens after the doors open he would just quietly go out of the place and he sleeps on warm mattresses he takes good rest and uh, when he goes to sleep there is a dream which occurs and the author gives a detail of the dream that he has and this is why i said this chapter is very important this dream is important it gives us a look into his subconscious what is going on in his inner mind what is going on in his inner self what is he thinking which he is not saying maybe he does not even realize what is going on in his mind that is what subconscious is and uh, we will do the dream in detail when we do the quotations just now but uh, okay he goes to sleep he has a dream this dream